It is fat boy friendly. I thought that was super fucking cool. It, it just seems like they thought of everything with this holster, man. Family, what's happening, bro? Hey, I come before you today with a very special thing. This holster right here. Now, I did a video a while ago on another holster that they make. It's right here. And them boys decided to send me this one. Now, this one right here is very different than what I'm used to carrying. It's because it's out of the waistband. But this is the last holster that you will ever need if you carry out of waistband. So I took my time with this holster. I actually got it about three, four weeks ago. Took my time with it to come to y'all and tell y'all what I really think about it. Oh, shit, like First off, let's have a look at the build quality. This boy right here, same material as the last one. It's a very thick plastic polymer. But if you look right here on the back side, you do got that nice non-slip, uh, I think it's a sweat guard. I think that's what they call that. But it is from Gun and Flower. The first thing that caught me about this holster when I got it was it's out of waistband. I don't know if I'm really gonna like it because I don't carry out of waistband, even though I'm in a state that allows that. This is definitely the first holster that I've had with the quick release guard right there. I thought that was super clean because yanking your gun out of the holster is not the only way to get it out. You can get you a smooth release right here and it's, it's not too far from your trigger finger. Let me show you. Right now, I got my G3. It is empty. Let me show y'all that. This is just a, this is just for the testing right now, but it's not far at all from from where from where your trigger finger usually sits. It's real nice and smooth. Of course, you can. Let me get my finger off and show you. You can. <laughs> uh, just yank it out. I, I promise it'd be a lot more retention if I had it on my hip, but you can get it out just by yanking it. Now I took some time and I actually studied this holster and I played with it a lot. And I found out a few things. Gun and Flower markets this as their everything holster, right? This is, you can virtually put any gun into this holster and it'll fit and it'll work. Why do they say that? They got retention pieces right here that can go up or down if you adjust it to hold your gun in place. And there's also a retention piece right here. If you look in there, you see that hump. That's another retention piece that they use to keep your gun seated. So whether you're carrying a, a full size or combat size or compact or one of the little small baby joints, you should be good to go, right? Kind of. You have to actually customize this holster with, this, with these two retention pieces to what your gun will fit or what whatever gun that you're going to be using at that time. But I did find out something cool. There is a perfect fit for all of my firearms. Now yours may be different, but I have full size and I have subcompact. And I did find the perfect fit to virtually fit every one that I have. And now we're going to get into a little bit of wiggle and retention. Just to show y'all that I think I found the perfect fit. First off, my Glock 30. Put it in here real quick. Maximum shakeage. It's going nowhere. Glock 45. Got a little bit of wiggle room up top. But it's not coming out. Of course, that wiggle room can be adjusted on that front side right there. I just got to go in here with the Allen key. Let's bring it up just a little bit. My G3. Same amount of wiggle room, but it's still not coming out. My G2C. Same retention rate and everything. It's not coming out, man. And lastly, FN57. not coming out man so your weapon is nice and secure in this holster bro the only gun that did not fit in this holster was my Taurus 605 and that, that's just because it's a revolver man 
This this holster fit everything that I needed it to. Of course, your custom fit may be a little different. That's why you gotta play with it. You gotta finagle with it. But let's get into the package. So it'll come to you just like this. And inside the package, you get, of course, your holster. You get a manual. Do not throw this away. This is gonna be your saving grace. Do not throw this away. Very informational. Also inside there, you get another retention piece right here, and you get an Allen key. This manual is the key to getting that perfect retention. Your manual has all types of nice information inside to get you that key fit that you're gonna need. There's also information on the back. Do not throw this away, you are going to need it. Now, while I was playing with this holster, I, had, I did not use the Allen key, but this other retention piece goes into where your trigger guard is gonna be at. This is what the piece looks like. You get another piece. It comes with two pieces. One piece is already pre-installed. This is the second piece. This one right here is for your smaller firearms. The one that's already in there is for your larger ones. But you still can adjust them up and down to fit exactly what you needed to do. But Big Ron, I don't carry around a Allen key on me. How am I gonna adjust it? This sound like a bunch of fluff. They already thought of that, man. Right here, attached to the holster, everywhere you go is the adjustment Allen key right here. It goes into the bottom adjustment key like that. You can turn and adjust your tension right here, up top, or inside the holster. And this also adjusts on the side. So you come, you come back and it adjusts the height right here. I thought that was super fucking cool. It, it just seems like they thought of everything with this holster, man. It's right there and it's clipped in and it has a little slot right there that it goes into, clips in right there. It's not going nowhere. But I did play with it on my hip a little bit around the house, carried it around on my hip. I learned that you're not just gonna slip this on you. This piece right here has to go around your pant loop or your belt. I have you gonna do for it to stay in place. But I learned that this right here, this non-slip sweat resistant padding right here, it is super comfortable. It's not even just super comfortable. It is fat boy friendly. <laughs> Let me say that, bro. It is fat boy friendly, bro. It, it feels so good. I thought this, this right here is called a paddle, by the way. I thought this paddle holster would be bulky as hell on my hip. It is not. It's a it's a little bit of a stretch for me to say that you don't feel it, but it's that comfortable to where it's very, it feels, it doesn't feel as big as it is. Let me say that. It doesn't feel as big as it is. Major shout out to Gun and Flower for this one right here. And if you guys do want to get you one, the link is in the description and use code big run and get you 10 percent off y'all will be seeing this in future videos i like it that much carrying it on me not so much matter of fact if that's something that y'all want to see because i in this state we are privileged enough to be able to carry out of the waistband if y'all want to see big ron carry out of the waistband for the first time let me know down in the comment section below that actually be very interesting for me Hmm.